I made a video about MS-DOS menu programs a while back, and there was a comment from Mr. Brian Habel, who created PC Menu, and he wrote, Thanks for trying PC Menu. Pity you didn't get it going. At least you gave it a shot. It was so cool to see a comment from somebody who created one of these very old DOS programs. I really wanted to give this program another try, so let's check it out. So here we are. I've mounted the C drive, and you can see uh, the same old stuff I've had lined up forever in a day. Now, one thing about PC Menu that I discovered um, is that it only works if you place it in the C drive, C slash PC Menu, the way it's set up here. Now, this is oddly specific, but from what I gather, it was also very common at the time for um, instruction manuals to dictate what uh, directories the programs had to be in. Now, it seems very weird, but that's the way it is. So uh, previously I tried this, I had all my menu programs in their own subdirectory. So, so it would be like C slash menu slash PC menu. Because of that, it wasn't working for whatever reason. So the way this works is um, the menus are written out in a script in the dot MNU files. Dot, yeah, dot MNU. So those are our, the, the menu scripts that, that we have. And then you use the PC menu program to actually run the scripts. So Brian and Brian 2, uh, actually all that stuff I think were, were packaged in. You can see if you look at the, the dates, they're 1993, with the exception of the top one because I edited it. Uh, so let's PC menu.exe. And then we're going to tell it to run Brian.mnu. So this is the pack-in uh, menu that's been changed a little bit. We've got a few things here. Uh, we can tell it to run a DOS command and put something in there. Uh, define your menu colors with a PAL def utility. That's a separate exe that, that's, in the, 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 um, that's in the directory. And then copy file just writes the, runs the, the copy command. The word processors menu. This is where I started to make changes. Um, to see if I could make it do what I wanted it to do. Gaze is the, the image viewer that I have installed in DOSBox right now. Mm. And I'm not able to, like I'm able to create this menu and then subsequently make it uh, um, show up, but I can't actually make these run programs. For example, if I try and run Gaze, it just, it just quits. That's all it does. So let's take a look at the script and see what they look like. All right. I've got, uh, I'm going to run Pedit to view the file, and then I'm going to run Brian.mnu. So this is Brian's menu that uh, Brian Havel wrote to pack in, and then I edited when I downloaded it. Um, it's actually not that complicated. These ones here that are bumped up against the margin are the names of the, the menus. We've got DOS command and then other options. Under that, indented, you can see exactly where the uh, uh, where the com what, you know where the commands are written. For example, um, gaze, echo off, echo, run the file, and then pause. But it doesn't work, so I don't know. I'm still working with that. Let's take a look uh, before we hang it up at one of the other menu uh, um, files. How about Brian 2? Because I, I, I have to think that I'm editing it wrong. C colon backslash pet it. Uh, and we're going to look at Brian 2 dot MNU. Uh. That just runs, look, define your menu with the color, uh, colors with the PALDEF utility. And the very next thing is just the path to run PALDEF. It's in the, that, that's the way that, I didn't change this one, that's the way it came. So let's make sure PALDEF is actually included. There it is, see it on top? So if I run that, uh, that, menu option pal def should run let's see pc menu dot ex 
C Brian two dot M and U. All right. Divine your colors of the palette F utility. And I run it and it doesn't work. So I have to think that this program is broken. Maybe it's not compatible with DOSBox. It's possible that I'm just not doing something right. I don't know. But um, that's PC menu. Pros and cons. Uh, aside from the fact that it seems to not work now, the fact that you can uh, type the menus with a script, I think, is really cool. Um, I didn't like it at first because, you know, you got to go in and use some logic and figure out how the script works. But the reality is you could type a long, complex menu very, very quickly using a script uh, as opposed to the way menu works is set up where you go through a, like, a s slide and select kind of interface. Menu works is easier for sure to learn, but um, the usage of a script is not only streamlined, but it also, if you're trying to set up uh, a whole bunch of computers, it makes it a lot easier to just copy, <laughs> you know, and, and stuff like that. So this seems like a really cool program. Um, it's a shame I can't seem to get the, the, uh, 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 the, the commands themselves to run. I guess we'll take a quick look at the color scheme thing. Uh, let's see. Was it paldef? Brian.mnu. Oh, boy, that didn't work. Yeah, so we just run paldef well, the way it is. And this will select, let's see. We've got a few selections. And we can make some changes to how we want things to look. Can make it look really terrible. I'm good at that. It's not letting me click here. I wonder why. All right. That's PC Menu. It's still available out there for download. Um, it was really cool to hear from the developer. I'm curious to see. This is version, uh, PalDef version 3.0. I don't know what version of PC Menu it is. But I have to think, perhaps, um, there is another version out there. Maybe there was a 3.1 or something. I don't know. Or maybe I'm doing something wrong. But that's that's an old DOS program. Thanks for checking it out, guys.